What makes someone a craftsman? No matter how practical the activity, they do it with passion, care and attention to detail. They take pride in the result and make good art of even the most ordinary. A craftsman puts their heart into their work. My name is Kai. I'm a passionate travel cinematographer from the Netherlands. I love combining my passion for the outdoors with traveling and filmmaking. And all of that is what inspires my work. Normally, I travel overseas. However, today I'm embarking on a trip closer to home than usual, together with Mazda as part of Mazda Discovers, a series of road trips around Europe and covering the stories, passions and expertise of craftsmen across various disciplines. We are traveling from Amsterdam to London to meet Richard, who just like me has dedicated his life to his craft and I'm keen to understand his world, his process and how he defines flow state as a part of his craft. I'm Richard. We are Peter Freebie and Company. We've been boat building over 300 years as a family. We started off as fishermen, ferrymen and bargemen, then went on to build lovely, beautiful wooden boats, which we are now famous for today. I've been around boat building all my life. And from a very young age, I can remember being four or five and painting bottoms of boats, sweeping up, I have lovely memories of building models of boats with my dad and it was a clever way I think of him introducing me into not only the, the wood but also the, the tools. I think it's the freedom of, of working by hand because when you're, when you're crafting by hand you're expressing something of yourself into that object. Boat building is a craft, you're working with the very nature of the shape of a boat, it's very curvaceous Often uh, there's not many right angles meeting each other, so it's quite um, quite different. You're also you're working with a very natural material, which varies in its in its consistency. So you're having to adapt your skills depending on on what wood you're working with. So during the the, the build process, once the deck beams are all in place and the the, the framework is there, it goes from a yeah quite a structural feel to a very intricate feel. Interwoven with that is the, the finishing, the, the varnishing, the painting. You know, you, you need to keep the, the skills and the, the tradition and the feeling behind um, what we do alive. It's the end product then giving joy in its use. What's lovely in terms of the type and style of boat that we build is that we are very keen to incorporate modern technology Modern technology, just, just as I imagine it is in, in, in Mazda's world, I feel in the car world, a very important aspect nowadays to be thinking of the future. I think it's um, a number of elements that come together to create something beautiful. It was amazing to see Richard so one with his craft. Making boats and cars is completely different from my field of videography. And I guess that means that if you look for art and craftsmanship, it can be found everywhere around you. Stay tuned for the next episode of Master Discovers, where cinematographer Stuart West travels to Austria to learn about ski making.